Hey guys, in this video, we will create this satisfying infinity loop in Blender 2.9. So let's start. First of all, delete all the default objects in the scene and add a circle. Go to edit mode by pressing tab, rotate it 45 degrees in Z axis. Then select these two points and press R to rotate them along X axis. Select these points and bring it up and this one down a bit so that they do not intersect each other. Now adjust these points till they meet at the center. Now you can see we got an infinite loop here. Add a cylinder of 10 vertexes here. Add a 40 cuts on it by pressing Ctrl R. Now go to modifier and select simple deform. We need to twist the cylinder along Z axis. So select Z. Increase the angle to 360 degrees. Scale it smaller and longer. Now again in modifier, add curve modifier and select cylinder as curve object. This deformation is because of wrong axis. So set it to Z. Now scale cylinder along Z axis to intersect the ends and create a loop. I am going to add a sphere which I want to instance on the cylinder at all these vertices. Let's convert this area into geometry node and add a geometry node to cylinder. Now add a point instance node and select sphere as object. You see this weird deformation. To fix this, press Ctrl A and apply the rotation and scale. Add a transform node and connect value node to scale. Now you can control size of the instance object with the value node. To keep some distance, I will scale circle in x and y direction a little. Now we got a perfect loop. If we select the cylinder and rotate it along z, we get this twisting effect. Ok, let's animate it. render mode and add a suitable lightning. Now add a rotation keyframe at the start and at the end of the frames. I will keep end frame at 100. Now go to graph editor and add cycles modifier to loop the animation infinitely. So now let's add beautiful colors to it. Select the instance object and add a new material. I want to get randomly colorful balls, so I have added a color ramp. Select the HSV and file. We have a whole range of colors here. Let's add object info node and separate XYZ node so that I can get color combinations according to the location of the balls. Now add some math nodes and set one to multiply. Connect them to color ramp and color ramp to diffuse shader. This one is quite weird but uh, you can adjust it by playing with these values. Let's 
let's add a nice background to scene and add a camera. So, here we go. Follow me on Instagram and ArtStation and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching.